Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about one of the most important nakshatra. It is the nakshatra of your natal moon. So the nakshatra where your moon is placed in your horoscope is known as your janma nakshatra or your birth nakshatra and you really need to consider this as one of the most most important nakshatra in your horoscope because this nakshatra holds the key to your purpose of your life the journey of your life and there's much more to it so let's go ahead and let's begin with our video let's just understand why the nakshatra of moon is so important and how can you analyze your Janma Nakshatra? So let's begin. So, Janma Nakshatra. Well, why planet moon is so important that its nakshatra is considered as the nakshatra of your birth? Why do we derive our name, the alphabets, the initial letters of our names from the pada of that nakshatra? Why is it that moon is so crucial in our life? So today's video is all about that and we're going to cover this topic in three phases. Well, number one. We are going to talk about the importance of planet moon and its nakshatra. Number two, we are going to talk about what does the Janma nakshatra represents in your life. And number three, what is the right way, the correct way to analyze your Janma nakshatra? Well, most people do it wrong. So we are going to talk all this. So let's begin. Planet Moon is one of the most beautiful celestial body to be seen in the night sky. Some people say that observing Moon during its waxing phase blesses us with beauty and vitality. But why Moon is the most crucial planet in astrology? Why is it so important we derive our name according to the placement of Planet Moon in your birth chart? I have already mentioned in one of my video that Sun and Moon are the Pratyaksha Devatas, the Devatas which are visible to us every day and therefore these two planets have greater influence on us. So Moon is the closest celestial body to Earth and it is also the fast moving planet. Moon takes 28 days to go across the 12 Rashis. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna mentioned that he is the fire in the sun. He is the life of this world and he is the sap in the trees. Well, what is sap? Sap is the vital fluid carrying the essential nutrients for the plants. And it is the planet moon who regulates and moves this fluid throughout the plant. So moon represents life force. Moon also regulates the menstrual cycle in females. So therefore, Moon is responsible for the regulation of the vital life process. Moon is the ornament of Lord Shiva and it's placed beautifully on his head. This indicates that Moon represents our mind, emotions, personality, joy, nature, character, and enthusiasm. It also represents a mother. But what about the nakshatras? The nakshatras together form the beautiful hair ornament of goddess Shakti. That means goddess Parvati. Now this hair ornament represents the Brahmanarandhara. Now what is Brahmanarandhara? Well, it is a gateway or a portal on head through which the life enters and exits from the human body. This place of head regulates the body movements in the same way nakshatras regulates a life. So if moon is life, then nakshatras are the ones who regulate our life. What is the importance of Janma nakshatra? Well, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. 
so moon represents your true nature your character your mindset your personality it represents how you will react to certain situations in life and it also helps us to find out the auspicious and the unauspicious timing now how to find out the auspicious and the not so auspicious days through the janma nakshatra suppose your moon is placed in the pundravasu nakshatra then ashlesha nakshatra will become the third nakshatra from your janma nakshatra so the days when the moon will be in ashlesha nakshatra will these days won't be the good days to start with new ventures nakshatras which are placed fifth and ninth from your janma nakshatra are the auspicious nakshatras so whenever the moon is placed in these nakshatras these days will be auspicious for you to start with new projects and whenever moon is present in third sixth eighth places away from your janma nakshatra then these days will be not be considered as auspicious day to begin with new things and finally how to analyze your janma nakshatra now suppose your moon is placed in mrigashira nakshatra now you cannot simply predict anything on that basis what this moon in mrigashira means it represents someone who is witty clever minded someone who is having amazing logical and reasoning skills Well the Mrigashira nakshatra extends from 23 degree 20 minutes of Taurus to 6 degree 40 minutes of the sign of Gemini so this nakshatra has four padas now imagine you and i both of us have moon in Mrigashira nakshatra does that mean we have same character same personality no for that you have to see the degrees of the planet let's say Uh, your moon is placed at 29 degree of Taurus and mine is placed at the second degree of Gemini now in the first case your moon is placed in the second pada of this nakshatra now the second pada of this nakshatra is ruled by planet mercury it falls in the virgo navamsha now my moon which is placed at the third degree of gemini so my moon is placed in the third pada it is ruled by planet venus as it falls in the libra navamsha so both of us will be having qualities related to the both of the planets that is mercury and venus but in the case of the virgo navamsha the second pada of mrigashira nakshatra the native will be quite logical and analytical someone whose mind is inclined to scientific research whereas the third pada of nagashura nakshatra will represent someone who is also quite logical and curious you know but his mind will be more inclined towards relationships someone who is very artistic in life so this is how we are going to analyze the janma nakshatra to get better predictions and to understand yourself much better so this was all about janma nakshatra a nakshatra which represents your true nature your character or your qualities everything you're born with in this life now life is all about modifications changes transformations why do we require change in life why do why do we need to change ourselves our personality when well, we want to reach a particular destination we want to achieve something in life and that's why we require to change ourselves so there is one nakshatra which represents your true changes your transformation in your in, in this life so in the next video we are going to talk about that nakshatra which is responsible for all kinds of transformations in your life so stay tuned to my channel and if you're new over here do subscribe till then goodbye